Uh, hello everybody. So tonight I'm gonna do a video that I've been waiting to do for quite some time and I'm finally going to do it tonight. So what I'm going to do is show you the tips and tricks that I use to install combs or clips into your wigs that do not have them. And I believe that they really help you to feel secure when you're wearing your wig in public because nobody wants their wig sliding off the back of their head or uh, tilting and shifting to the sides you know we just don't want that um but before I get started on this video I gotta do a little shout out to my new hat I picked up today um I'm a sucker for the winter hats with the big fluffy balls yep and I picked this one up at Walmart for seven dollars and ninety six cents and I absolutely love it. Uh, and underneath my hat, I had to do a shout out to, I'm wearing my Claire. Uh, just got her in some braids since I'm wearing some winter hats. I just throw her in a couple little braids. But so, yep, she's uh, mixed in with my own hair. And uh, just parted down the side and tucked behind my ears so that I can wear my hat. Anyhow, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is, as I said, I'm going to put combs and clips into a wig that I have that are void of those things. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, the wig I picked out to do this for you on is my Lilac Frost by Hairdo. And we're not going to go into the specs of her because I did... Uh, a review on her before and she is not an everyday wig I mean as you can see her color is purple lilac and it's not something that I would like wear all the time but she is super cute especially if you are wearing her for like Halloween or something that you are dressing up or festival uh, so nonetheless she is void of clips and combs uh, she does have the Velcro straps. And she does fit really, really good with the Velcro straps on the tightest that they go. I'm not a fan of crisscrossing my straps because then I feel like it's bunchy at the nap of the neck when you crisscross them. So I don't really care for that. Now I will if my wig is really big on my head or else this is what my trick is so I will install clips and combs into her and show you how I do this now I will mention something I'm not a sewer I do not like to sew <sighs> not me I'm just not into sewing so one day I took a cheap wig that I had that was too big for my head that I really liked and I found my own little trick so I'll show you I don't freak out don't panic but I use super glue. But you can't just buy any super glue. See, if you buy regular super glue, it's runny. It's like really runny and it runs all over and it's sticking to your fingers and it's sticking to the inside of your cap and your wig and you're getting it on the hair and it's just, mm, it's a mess. So this glue is gel. gel super glue so it's thick and wherever you apply it to it doesn't run all over it it's just a nice even application and it's and it stays right where you're putting it and that's what I like about the gel super glue so this is what I use now another thing you might be thinking is well what happens when you wash your wig doesn't it fall apart whereas if you sew it it's a lot stronger and it doesn't come apart because it's sewed but that's a possibility. I'm not going to say that it won't after about the hundredth wash. Um, but I've washed my wig several times and that glue, super glue and those clips and combs are holding strong. So worst case scenario, they come undone after years of washing and you just super glue another one back in. So you can pick up these little super glues. They come two in a pack. This one I've already opened and used so the cap on it and so it comes to in a pack and this other one hasn't been opened yet you screw the top on and then you take the green off and then voila you got precision 
precision application going on here. Oh, I might have to finagle this one off. But anyhow, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, so there are two types of of uh, products that I'm going to stick into this wig. So I've, you've got the regular snap clips, which snap like that, okay? So you can see that it just, it grabs a little bit of hair and then snaps into place, okay? Oh, look at that. <sighs> Snapped one little piece of hair on the side of my head. Okay, so you got those, and they come in different sizes, different colors, whatever. See, I have I have both. I got the cream colored ones. Um, they also make really small ones too. I actually have a couple that are like itty bitty. Um, these ones are really little. I don't even know what they use these ones for. They're just super tiny. You can see the difference in the sizes. So you have options when it comes to these clips. Um. You have different colors, different sizes. Now the other ones are the combs. Now these are the combs. You might have seen these in some of the wigs. And uh, so this is the area that you would sew into your wig. Same thing with the clips. You've got these little dots on the side and that's where you would sew them into your wig. Okay. I actually prefer these the best. And you can pick them up at any beauty supply store and you get two for a buck. There's two in the pack. This happens to be a leftover from one that I installed in the front. It had one in the back, but not in the front. So I've got one left over. So I'm going to use this one to show you. But let's see here. Let me get started with the wig and show you where my placements are going to be for myself. Now, where you place your clips and combs is going to be to your to your own liking where you feel like you need the extra stability and the extra security for your own wig but I'm going to show you where I like mine okay I like my wig to be secure when I put the combs in I like to have one at the front and one in the nape and the reason why is because when your wig is when you're wigs when the comb in your wig is is going into your hair here and into your hair in the back your hair your your wig isn't going to shift backwards or forward you got that stability here and that stability here and it's just right there okay some wigs have these on the side which you can do that too instead of placing it up and down here and up and down in the back you would just place it going to the side this way i remember it's a little bit harder and trickier to do this if you're if you got like a wig that's fully hand tied or fully laced in the front because you have to be really careful with that because if you have it in a spot where you're gonna part it you're gonna see the little the little band in your parting so you gotta be really careful where your placement is. Um, trial and error is the best thing I can say. I put I put my clips and comb into a, a cheap wig that I paid no more than twenty five dollars for. And once I realized how secure it was on my head, I was, I was hooked from that point on. Now, like I was saying, I prefer these in the front and in the back. You got good, good, stable, steady, security wig on your head. Now, I do like these, the clips, but I'm going to tell you the problem that I have with the clips. They grab some of your hair and then it gets locked in there. And I've noticed that if you wear your wig with the clips in the same place every single time it pulls out your hair and you get thinner in that area where these have some give and it's more like a comb going into your hair it doesn't pull as much as these clips do now don't get me wrong I started off using the clips and that's I decided to go to these so I'm going to show you how I do it now. So, here we go. Okay, so here we go. I have the glue and I have the comb. Now, the comb is going to go, this is the front of my cap. This is where the bangs are. This is the front that goes on your forehead. Okay, 
So I want to place this about right here, just before the hairline, but not all the way to the hairline. That way, if you want to uh, make baby hairs or wispy hairs or bangs or whatever, you can play around with it and you don't have this right up to the top. So I like to place mine just back a little bit before the hairline. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, well, the first thing I want to do is not lose the wig. Okay, so now I'm going to take the comb. I'm going to use the gel glue. And I'm going to make a nice little thin strip going right across the comb. Okay, just like that. You want to get enough on there, but you don't want to put too much on there. So, see how it doesn't run around? That's the bad thing about regular super glue is that it's runny. So, I'm going to find my placement where I want it. And I'm going to go ahead, center her right into the middle, and lay her down, kind of press her a little bit with my fingers, just for about 10 seconds, might blow on it a little bit. It's going to stick right away, but you don't want to, uh, you don't want to do anything with like your movement and getting it shifted around or anything like that. So the next thing I'm going to do, I have these little mini alligator clips. And since I have it right where I want it, I use the alligator clips, one on the end, one on the other end, and you can put one right in the middle. It's your choice. You can put it wherever you want, but that is going to hold it there while it dries. Now, usually what I do is I do not wear my wigs the day I do this. I actually will let this sit overnight, okay? So it's going to sit all night long and let that, that gel glue just dry 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 so moving along the other place that I like to put one of those combs is at the nap right at the nap now because this wig has velcro and I already have it on the tightest where the velcros are right next to each other the key for this is to keep the velcro kind of low so that you have area to, to, to do the gluing. Like this, okay. So I'm actually gonna glue my next one right there between the tag and where I'm gonna place these. Now you can go ahead and take these off for now. So it's gonna be right along there, but I wanna leave enough room to where my where my Velcro is still going to have area to stick, okay? And then that one is going to get placed right about here, just below the tags, but still onto the, the band. Okay, so here we go. Here's the next one. So we're going to get our super glue, our gel super glue, right on here, this band. Get, get it on there nice and good, not too much. Okay, and we're going to flip it around. We want this one to go up the nap of our neck. So I'm going to place this right here. Remember, I'm going to leave enough room for my Velcros to still come through and stick. Same thing. I'm going to hold her down a little bit. Oh, my finger's stuck. Then I'm going to take the alligator clip, put one on the end, one on the end. Oh, my finger stuck. <laughs> and then another clip right in the middle. And then, like I said, that's going to sit on there, and I'm going to leave it on there all night long. Then by tomorrow, it'll be dry. Let's see, I still got room for my Velcro clips. Yep, my Velcro clips will still go on below the, below the comb. All right, now, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and install the combs now, or the, cl the clips, the snap clips. So the snap clips are going to go 
why do I always have camera malfunctions? Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so the clips are going to actually go over by the ear tabs. So you see where the ear tab is right here? I'm going to put the clip right here along the upper part by the ear tab. Same thing on the other side. It's going to go right up here by the upper, pipe, upper part on the ear tab. So uh, when it comes to the snap clips, though, you got to be a little more careful when you're installing those because I've accidentally installed these things backwards. So you want it to you want to pay close attention to where it's opening and where it's slipping into your hair and snapping. OK, so this is the part that's going to get glued onto the wig this part right here so you gotta you gotta really pay mind to which way it's opening up because if you glue it the other way then when you go to it it's not gonna go in your hair see it's not gonna go in your hair and grab anything so you have to be careful when it comes to that but the point I'm getting at is I use the same technique with this um, you're just gonna line glue right on this edge the very edge and then you're going to put it where you want it by the ear tab and then you're going to keep it in its closed form though and then you're going to use the alligator clips to hold it in place while it dries overnight so I'm going to go ahead and put these two in while you uh, watch okay so here's the ear tab right here you can see that right there I'm going to put my snap clip right above it right here so that it will snap into my hair or this will go into my hair and then I will snap it shut so that's how it's going to be so I'm going to leave it in its shut stage so that I can flip it over you're going to do the same thing with the glue you're going to put a nice little coat of glue right on here okay just right on there I don't know if you can see it like on there let's see you can see the little little bit of gel glue on there I know my camera's not the greatest okay and so then I'm going to flip it over and put it right above there right above that ear tab and I'm gonna hold it for a few seconds and then I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna put the alligator clips on there actually I do not have any more small alligator clips left but that's okay because I have these larger ones and they work just as good so I'm just gonna clip one end down and clip the other end down that will hold it into place until it dries and so that's one ear that that's by one ear tab I will put another one by the other ear tab so I will have a comb at the front a comb at the back a clip by one ear and a clip by the other ear so I'm not going to put the other clip in by the ear I will do that off camera but this is just how I do it um like I said, I'm not a sewer, so like these ones are probably already dry enough to where I can take the, the alligator clips off. But like I said, I won't move the wig around or anything like that until tomorrow. Like you just want to make sure it's completely dry. If you try to stretch out the fabric or get it on your head or put your hair into it too soon, um, that's probably when it, you're going to risk it coming apart. Um, And that's pretty much all I do. Oh, whew, my dog alarms were going off. Sorry about that. Anyhow, so that's it for this. Um, I hope that I wasn't like all over and you understood what I was saying and how I do it. Um, this is just how I do it. It's quick, easy, fast, efficient. Um, I took the alligator clips off already. But like I said, I will not uh, wear her until, you know, I'll, I'll give it a day. Give it a good 24 hours and... Uh, they should be in there really good. And trust me, it does hold. You know, worst case scenario, it's it's a buck. And if they come out, then you just can re-glue them. Anyhow, that's it for now. Uh, I hope everybody has a great evening and had a good weekend. And tomorrow is Monday. Oof, back to work. Whew, not looking forward to that. But anywho, have a good night. And I'll talk to you all later.